I hope you can hear me. So today we will create the building, uh, complete project as uh, I planned. I planned before. Um, we will start start again from the scratch, from the template, and uh, we will continue like one and the second uh, stream. I think uh, I need like three streams to finish uh, the building. So I will show you what the building will create today. So if you have some question or you want to ask something, you can ask it to this old stream is only for you guys. Okay. Mm. Here this our building. Uh, actually, it looks simple, but uh, the uh, nice thing the this building have the two story, uh, two story, the uh, I mean, the two story floor. As you can see here and the nice one thing uh, we will create topography for this uh, building I know most of you asking like how we can create the topography for the building and as you see it's not flat it's not totally flat and we will create the top topography for this building but it will be the last stage so first we will create our building after that we will put a uh, topography on this uh, building so uh, as previous uh, as I did before we'll start from the template I will load my own template and after that uh, I will continue to create building like uh, piece by piece and wall by wall so let's create the new one uh, actually as you know guys I'm using my own template and as I said when I get to 10,000 subscribers it's already soon I think it will be on this week. I will share with you uh, my own template. So let's open up. And we will start as again. We will start from the uh, our uh, plans, from the our pictures. I will load it here. Wait, hold on. I will load it here. Let's open. Yeah. Uh, tutorials, t -t 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 -t, private house reference. So this is my references. Uh, let's load it. It's not clear actually, but uh, I think it's enough for us. Uh, we don't need nothing. We just need only the walls. That's it. Okay. Uh, p -p -p yeah, I need the line. Sorry, all day working and now again I'm working. <laughs> Feel terrible. Uh, okay, uh, I had um, our image and now we will uh, just scale it. As you know, guys, we will scale from this side to this side and uh, here we are. And here this uh, our the first floor. Here the uh, second floor. Actually, it's not the second floor. This is a pad from the second floor. Now here this is this uh, like two story uh, two story room. That's it. And here it's ground floor and this is uh, upper ground floor. And we will start from that one. And first what I need, I need to create some some grids because uh, previous videos I did without grids and actually the, that one it's really bad thing. We should create the grids. Okay, let's do it. Uh, here, the, I think uh, one, two, three, four, four grids will create it. Now it's uh, been okay about the, what the t what we were writing here. The, we can start from the one. You can start from the some letters as you wish. It's only up to you guys. <coughs> okay, just one here. If you want to ask something, ask guy. Don't be shy. So I'm spending my my time only for you, because uh, when I'm when I'm like finishing the stream, uh, you have the some question, but I'm already tired and I cannot answer. <laughs> uh, okay, and on this side, I will create like uh, as you can see here the one grid, the second grid. Uh, no, second will be here. Uh, where is else? Uh, else it's one here and one here so let's create it one here and as i said we for change this for two letters just type it's a 
and Revit will automatically change it. So where's our grid? Grid is here. Uh, let's do it. The wait, second one, second one here. As you see, I will automatically changing it. Uh, if you guys uh, pro in Revit, I think this tutorial not for you. It's only a tutorial for the people who don't know the Revit and um, only the people who starting uh, like learning the Revit because they have the many questions like how to draw that one, how to can how can apply that one. And I just showing how it's how we are working. Okay, and one more here. Nice. Okay, so we did our grids. We have our grids now. We have the uh, our plan. And um, as all architects, uh, I care about the numbers because um, it's so terrible when you have the bad numbers. But you see, he had the great number, but he had tough. Let's change it to uh, 4,500, let's say. And yeah, we are right, we did it. And here it's uh, 6,500, as you see. So this, not bad. Okay. And let's make it here. Uh, yes, I can speak in Russian. If you ask some question, you can type on the Russian. I will try to answer you. And I will try to <laughs> to translate. <laughs> uh, oh my god, uh, why I did equal? This is so terrible. Uh, here it's 6,500 6, and here which one, which one? Maybe it's this one. Ah, uh, okay, maybe. No, yeah, that one. 30,000. And here, oh, this is a pretty one. But let's say it's 9,600. Okay, oh, sorry, my mistake. Like this. Okay, so as you see, we get a really cool number. We have the really cool measurement. We can easily calculate the, uh, any area now. And now we should start to uh, create uh, the, our wall anyway. Uh, let's say let's check what the type of wall we have here. So I, I think it looks like uh -huh, this side uh, It looks like 500 maybe 450, but it Yeah, it looks like 500. Let's do like 500 uh, As I said I, because I'm using my own template I have the all the types uh, of the wall uh, anyway you will get it too but now i will use just simple one the generic because i'm not care i, I don't want to care about the um, uh, how to say it the, about uh, about the wall now we will change it later if we need it but now we're just creating the form of our building this is main thing because uh, after that you can change in revit anything so easy so I choose 375 and let's go to the edit, duplicate and I'll change the, it to 500 millimeters. Let's say 500 millimeters and let's say OK. And here you can see we cannot change the width, but we can go to the structure and we can change it here to 500. And as you see, we don't have any material structure. I don't like it and you, I think you also don't like it. And we should change to some, uh, let's say, that one. Let's say OK. Let's say OK. So now, OK. Let's create our building from the wall. And now, as you see, it's 15. 15. OK, let's let's leave it like that. 15,100. No, actually, it should be big, more bigger, but we will redo it after that. Now I'm just creating my uh, external wall and we will change it if we not will like it. It's okay. Yeah, they like this. I will shift it. Okay, and here I should extend it. I will use command align. You can uh, just use the short key like AL. Or you can go to the, um, sorry, I, don't, I have so much extensions and it's here, the modify. And here you will find a line. 
so you can align by this corner to this and as you see now it's uh, perfect uh, arranged between of that walls and what what's happened here uh, as I think we should create one more wall here like this uh -huh. and I will use again command align just align to here and as you see we connected our wall now I will use common trim if you will go to modify you will find it here trim just let's use it trim and you get your uh, wall connected but I think external walls it's a bit bigger than I'm uh, I using now so we will change it without uh, any redo I think uh, I said uh, without any redraw how I did it how I will do that just choose the wall after that this is 500 and let's let's say I did mistake and I want to make like 675 just change it change it here too and Revit automatically will change the our wall wait as you see I, I choose this wall and now I change it to 700, uh, 675 and as you see we no need to redraw it we can change it just like this you can choose one by one or you can choose just select one after that go to the uh select oh, where is it where is it where is it oh it's my mistake uh select all instance invisible view and now we selected only this type of the wall as you see this type we didn't select it and change it to 675 and as you see this is our this our size really yes we will use that one so now we should uh check the um, dimension between the wall just use the dimension again or short key di and use the tab key to change the uh, se selected uh, selected side i wanted to select the h1 let's change let's select h this one and this one and as you see we get i think it's not bad we'll leave this one and let's select that one and that one and here also not bad what what going on here okay i not will change anything we get great numbers we will leave like that so now we should create the external window here uh, as you know, I'm using for that one the not curtaining system. I'm using the wall. Let's go to the wall and use the storefront here. Yeah. And let's create it. We did it. But it's totally wrong. As you know, wait, hold on. We will put like that. And now I will use the commands di and I want to check the. Um, uh -huh. let's make 150 like this okay uh, what I told ah, I said about the height of our walls because now it's totally wrong Is uh, as you see it's first it's unconnected and the second it's uh, 8 meters high this wrong we will go to the east view and now we will arrange our um, elevation because we have now walls, we understand um, how many floors we need, we can create now um, our levels. So the first level, actually the my first level, it will be minus 600. Okay, then my second level, it will be minus 330, 3030 I think. Okay, there's other one. Let's copy it. I just using the command uh, CC or you can copy it by here. And that one will be on the zero. So it means we should hide on 3300. So now it's on the zero. This is level zero. We will call that ground floor. Okay, that one. Uh, 
underground floor one. Yes, I want to rename it. And that one underground floor two. Yes, I want to rename that. Okay, now we understand like this is our ground floor, this is our zero point. Uh here we're going to um uh, under this our soil and uh, again so and we need one upper ground floor so let's create them and upper ground floor it's 3900 millimeter so we will change uh, the name also naming it's really really important upper or okay yes upper upper ground floor and oh sorry oh okay i don't know much about uh, spelling now and we will create like 1500 it's uh, our roof here our roof okay nice so as you understand our wall is totally wrong and we should uh, put it until the level one so um, let's go to back to the our um, plan now i will choose the all walls how you can choose all the walls here just select everything go to the filter and now you can see what's uh, what you what you selected i need only the walls as you see this count of the of the walls 10 i just switch off the curtain uh, wall mullions panels curtain wall and now i selected only the walls i will change it to the uh, ground floor uh, the first one and now if i will go back to the my elevation you can see now it's connected to the upper ground floor one i will extend my elevation grids like this and now i can understand anything or i i mean everything so uh let's create the um, ah no i i should uh, no it's we will do this later when we will create the second floor we will uh we will how to say it we will prepare this curtain wall but now i want to create uh, uh, rooms inside this building I will go to the again to the walls. Now we should change change to the some interior one. I, as you can see, I have the some interior. I will use that one, and I will change the location line. Location line it's the line where you starting from. So uh, I will start from the finish face exterior. It means if I will do like this. Now on this side exterior, in this side interior. So it's only to connect uh, to nice connect uh, my exterior walls with interior and now i will use common tr actually no i not will use common tr because i will connect it to the to the end and i will use a line as i said a line you can find yeah and guys yeah you should you should know all shortcuts because without shortcuts you will work uh, like you know uh long time like an aftercut can you imagine you working in aftercut without shortcuts just kill me i don't want to know that uh yeah first question first question are you using aftercut file for the trace no i'm i'm using just the picture i'm using just the picture from internet and uh, just uh, drawing uh, over on that i uh, i scale it as you can see uh, here the door and it's around 1000 so it is like this I scaled this uh, image and using like tracing tracing image but you can use the aftercut file if you want okay uh, oh about the aftercut guys if you are loading aftercut into the your project never do it like drag and drop I mean like for example you have the aftercut file and you just dropping it here never do it because um, this is wrong way how to uh, load aftercut file correct into your project go to the insert and you can find it here link cut why you should use the link cut because if you're using link cut and after that you can manage it 
you will find it here the cut formats you will you will find your after cut file here but if you are just drag and drop you know never find it here and you cannot manage your um how to say it your after cut files inside the revit so just remember about that i think it was helpful <laughs> okay let's go to the our wall i so much talking i should just draw 45 degree and here as you see we have the shaft i think it's around five yeah it's around 1000 yeah it's around because i'm using again i'm using the picture it's not clear because uh, they can make like some photoshop with this picture and it's not uh, vector this is raster image that's why and i will change this wall to the some some bigger which one which one which one which one actually i will create new one you should understand how to create we have the basic interior wall let's go to the edit type duplicate and we will do it like 2500 or 2250 and yes let's say okay so now we should calculate we have the finish uh finish thing like one 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 no it's it's 160 and we should create create more here it's like 72 i think i think yes it's 72 let's say check oh 572 oh my god okay guys i need calculator I think you're okay with that. <laughs> okay, I have 16 plus 16 plus 60 and minus 2050. So I need 200, 202 here. Let's say okay, let's say okay, and now everything okay. It was my mistake, I'm sorry. And here the wall is also bigger than I, I draw. I think that one. And as you see, the Revit, uh, just uh, remember where, where you're starting your wall. So it's not going out the line, it's on the one line. It's really important when you're using the, this uh, location line. Just remember about that. Okay, uh, I think, ah, yeah, one more wall and we finish with this, that floor. So as, as you see again, I'm using the exterior. Yeah, I'm using the space bar to change uh, the direction. You can use it too. And here, and I need one more. You, you, uh, how you can uh, do your work more faster? For example, you need this wall. You don't need going here to the wall or just copy that wall. You just can click on this wall, just select that, and use the command. Uh, I will show you with the, I, because I know the sh shortcut, but I don't know is the uh, why is it with it? Ah, it's here. Create similar CS. Just use that one, and Revit automatically uh, will um, apply that type of the wall. So as I said, I can click on this wall just using CS, and I can draw this wall. But all our interior wall is also wrong because oh no because i did it right as you can see the automatically connected to the floor nice after desk ravi 2019 making great job yeah all the wall it's okay i will check it on the east side so everything okay okay we finish on this with this floor we should continue with other floor but if uh, i will show you if we will go to the second floor, we cannot see this plan. Uh, we should create the plan, floor plan, and uh, which one we don't have. Ah, we have that one. We have that one. Hold on. Here we are. We can see what's going on, on under this floor. How I can see that? Because here on underlay, I did if uh, you will switch off you cannot see anything you can see only what's going on on your level but if you are using some for example uh what's going on on this uh, level the below you can see it 
but you cannot see image about uh, this place. So we should be we should copy paste uh, our image to the to that to that side. How we can do that? Just copy this. Uh, just select this uh, image. After that, copy. Let's go to the other floor and paste paste the same place. So now the our image on the same place uh, as on the level the level below. You can copy and paste everything in this way. You can copy and paste actually by levels. You just can select it levels what you need. For example, you can choose the site. Let's go to the site. It's already here in the same place. I will delete from this site and I will close that one. So now we should choose that site. I mean that plan is terrible, I know. Because it's not like different uh, images, it's only one. But we will try connect it by this site, I think. Okay. I think it looks like, yeah, it looks like this. Okay. So what's going on here? Here we should create the pad one. Our pet uh, is actually high. Our pet is will be uh, from minus uh, three thousand three hundred to the zero, so it's around three meters. Because all of these rooms, this is two-story rooms. I accept the toilet. So let's create it. Uh, now we need again our wall. But stop, stop, stop. Let's go to the level 2. I will choose all the walls again. Filter. Check none. And walls. What I will do? Copy. Paste. Align the levels. And level 1. Copy. Now let's go to the level 1. And it's here. As you see, it's already here. Now I can select all my walls here and again I will do the same thing, check none, walls and I will connect that walls to the uh, ground floor, upper ground floor, oh sorry, up to ground floor, the, yeah, and offset 0, offset 0, as you see we did it, let's go back to the first level and now we can create the other uh, other one uh, walls. Sorry, I'm talking too much already. My my neck already paying a bit. <clears throat> mm. Okay, we should change the our location line again to the exterior interior as you wish. I will change to that one, and I will choose the same wall as we did before. So here the some some complicated uh, type of the um, of the wall. We should be careful because here the let's let's say make more careful. Okay, forty five degree it's acceptable and sixty I think here sixty. I hope so actually yeah it here sixty and I will use the trim. Here already automatically connected and here I will connect by myself. Okay, better guys if you will ask something because I feel myself stupid or you're already sleeping, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and this wall. As you can see it's a, a bit really complicated walls because different angles. Let's like this you cannot see anything I'm sorry because I think it, I think it's error let's I'll try to change uh, to modify that one I will try to modify shade it okay now you can see all the walls I will use the line here and as you see I did wrong we should change to this position. How unconnect that? Just choose the your uh, wall, right click, and disable join. And now we can 
just drag it. Let's change the angle. Yeah, not right angle, something like. But but maybe it's uh, only the image, maybe. Who knows? And just let's trim it. And as you see, we get mistake like that one. Happens because you should uncheck. Because I did before like disable join. Here it's uh, allow join, and it's automatically again uh, joining. Okay, we did it. Uh, now we should create uh, two more, like one here. This one I will just extend. A bit complicated because uh, this is building. It's like two different building. They ha that building have two pa two pads, so like uh, how would say it? Like a two independent building. So like this. One more here, here, and here. Okay, again, now I will choose the similar one, and like this. Now I'll use the trim. Again, trim. And this really complicated thing. We should. Um, if you should some some way erase it, so let's do it. Align, and we get this <laughs> this I want to say shit, but okay, everything okay now. I will extend a bit. So this is really a complicated joint. So don't use a line here. We will use here the other thing. Uh, that one. Trim and extend. Just like this. First you are showing uh, till where you want to extend your example. First you will show till where you want to extend your wall and second you will choose the wall. That's it. Now I, cho I should create the wall here. Just use again the spacebar to shift your direction. Let's draw it. Gravity, as you see, automatically helping me to get this, uh, this, this, this position. And like this. You will say it's wrong. Yes, I know. I will shift it. Okay. And I will use the trim now. No, I will save later to connect these two walls. So we did the second part. Now we should connect that side to that side. And it will connect like this. So let's go to the east view and we will check what's going on. We even can go to 3D to understand what we get. As you see guys, we already finished half our building. And it's not so bad as you think or as I think actually. Uh, let's the some ambient shadows I really like it uh, we will create the floors later because now I'm okay about the uh, only walls as you see this is our independent part the second one and now we will create here the floor one actually ground floor let's create ground floor uh, I think I will create ground floor and upper ground floor, but the other thing we will create on the other, other stream. I not will do without you guys, so you can just follow me or you can just uh, saying some what I did mistake. Everything here, okay? Yes, this, this is just our line. Okay, uh, now I will go to the uh, ground floor. For that one, I need to go to the uh, view, plan, floor plan, and here our ground floor. And make sure you do not duplicate the existing views, because if you are duplicate, this will be not bad, but your project browser will be like trash. Okay, nice. So here is our ground floor. And as I said, you cannot see anything here. So how to... As I already said, how you can check what's going on under this level. 
here just underlay just click on somewhere underlay and choose for example ground floor one and here we are and now we should copy the our first floor let's go to the here and as i already teach you guys copy paste let's go to the ground floor oh no i know one independent window i want it's here and paste align to same place so like this here is our first floor and we should be careful here so where is it uh -huh. this is here this is here okay wait i will check let's do the on the same position from this side that one or this side that side Okay, this seems seems we are in the in the right place, maybe no. We will check yeah the our floor. Mm -hmm. And as I said, as you can see, um I don't have some <laughs> Actually, here I have the some mistakes um, on the scale. Yeah, everything okay. And here the going place like this. Let's check the picture because I cannot understand um, clearly. Okay. Ah, okay. I got it because we have the um, like pad here, like balcony here, and pad our pad going until that one, as you can see here. Yeah. Okay, now everything okay, I think. Yes, it's going on. Yeah, as you can see, it's going from the outside to this side. You can see this our pad and we get that one a bit outside. Anyway, it's okay. Now we will create our walls. So these walls, it's actually the same. I will go to the uh, first floor and I will just copy it as I did before. Just select everything, check none, walls. OK, copy and paste on the ground floor. Now we will delete some some walls because we no need all of them. So let's check this wall. We no need that wall. We no need also. I will delete. I will want to delete all the interior walls because I will create it again. What's going on here? And I will delete this wall. OK, we have only few walls. And even that one, I want to change to here and join elements because our wall trying to join to this wall. And here, here we are. Let's continue to draw it. Here we have the uh, window with a glass door or something like glass door. Here our wall and garage like this like this okay we'll change it now and like this let's put it here this is a bit inside like this why i'm not creating the floors just even the doors because now when I will finish prepare uh, my walls, I will check all dimension. Because now I'm just drawing, it's like tracing, you know. When you're tracing, you are not sure about the size of the, uh, of the room, for example. Maybe I'm drawing now the garage here, but maybe it's not enough even for one car. So that's why now I'm prepared about, uh, now I'm okay about the walls. After that, of course, we will uh, switch to the other things. But now it's on my priority. This only the walls. So we did the walls. Here the column, as you can see. We not will create that now. Uh, you can see the column here. This is the column. And here the pad. As, as you can see, the pad uh, below our building. Here. Okay, so we need uh, now interior walls, 
let's do it with our nice interior walls here and let's create it everything okay so we can align by point actually as you can see if you are using tab in in some of the time you can wait where is the where is the point <laughs> we cannot see point okay happens sorry we cannot see point so let's drag just move move our wall to that corner and everything okay now so now i will use the again copy same from for that side to that side and now we get mistake like this one we just need unjoin it because that one it's our exterior wall this one interior and sometimes you should unjoin it yes i'm using sites des site designer actually tool yes uh i showed on the my previous video how you can create for example the street uh why i'm starting this uh project because uh, i want like um combine all my knowledge and i want to show you how you can create the project how you can prepare your drawing how you can create the topography i mean the top of, top of surface and how you can uh also the prepare that one and maybe if i will uh rest enough uh i will create the some renders so that's why i'm saying like uh, i don't want to rush this this uh, this stream now i mean that one this part i am showing only how we you can how we uh, creating the walls on the second stream we will prepare some interior things so we will create the windows doors uh even maybe we will uh create the, some um, how to say it scratch uh, scratch shadow about our 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 rooms and after that i just will keep it so like go on and on i think uh you should say guys uh, where you able to join my stream because i can do it on the i think on on this week not on the weekend i mean on the week but uh, most of you i think working or study that's why you're not able to watch it uh, for example uh, in monday or thursday so what i'm doing now i just creating the interior walls that's it uh actually i'm using the just simple interior walls as you can see we have the two finishes and that's it uh if i'm not okay with this uh, walls i will change it later but now uh, i'm pretty well with that one let's change to back to the course view so we did it we had our kitchen big kitchen with the um, oh why 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 what i did here we had our stairs and here it's like yes i got it what here so we need one more one more generic wall let's use that one retain and i will edit it wait i will duplicate it to 600 millimeters <laughs> welcome man really it's already like my you know like everyone have some uh, habits like bad habits good habits but my bad habit is doing the video <laughs> it's like this okay i did 600 the uh, wall and after that uh just choose this wall here the one and let's create like this okay we did it this one i should change it back as you see uh, i did mistake i changed this wall how you can uh do it back without just deleting and replacing just use command ma again if you know aftercut you know this function ma actually copying the all the settings uh, from this wall to that one Tata, just two seconds and we did it uh this actually that wall actually not going uh till the end i mean this is wall unconnected 
uh, it's around 900 millimeters only because here it's only the how to say it something like a border you can sit here and watching what's going on on the living room that's why but all other wind uh, all other walls going until the end wait yes until the end so we finished with that one that one that one uh we should create this uh this wall <laughs> i said already window uh here and to do this one and as you see i did first mistake because we get this uh wrong gap revit doesn't like that and i will use a line to align it so revit already okay with that <laughs> right and connect and here there's something like laundry room yes near this garage like american like And as you see, Revit automatically showing us the uh, right angle to uh, to that line, to the, to that side, so to be equal. We did it. Just one wall here, and I not will copy anything. And now I will go to the modify. Again, I will use the trim and extend. That side, that that. Oh, sorry. Again, trim and extend that side and that uh, comment can you please uh, come in tutorial do Revit to 3d max render I know wanna lie guys to you I know uh, V-Ray uh, not bad but not so good to teach you because if someone know better than me they saying like Nico sorry your mistake you are doing not well uh, I know one make like uh, I know wanna teach you wrong so it's only about that i know the corona if you want i can uh, teach you corona render i know lumen i can show you how you can render in lumen but actually what about lumen and Vir uh, corona and v-ray it's actually pretty same they have pretty same uh, function the pretty same nodes uh, so uh, i can show you on, on corona it's only about i don't want to lie to you guys uh, you know that just some some people doing like uh, spending one day before they making video to the learning something and after that uh, doing the video and showing like oh guys see what I can do and I, I'm not that people so this the shaft we did it congratulations so let's go to the 3d because we want some aesthetical uh, aesthetical feelings right it should feeling like oh my god we did it and as you see, uh, this wall is wrong. <laughs> uh, just click on that wall, right click and select on the visible view. And we did wrong because we selected what's uh, under the ground floor. Actually, I, I'll do the tricky way. I'll just select like that. And I'll unsell. Oh, sorry. Select that one. And just unselect the bigger one that one and that one. Oh no this one we should select and change to the ground floor oh we are we are on the ground floor oh that one <laughs> okay this really nice thing the right click select select on the visible view and change it to zero and join element Let's go back to 3D view. Oh, po, 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 po. K keys. I have somewhere K keys. Uh, you can print it. It's really cool. Uh, I will find it tomorrow and I will post uh, under this video. So I will post this video and under this video you will find the link with uh, really usable K keys. So just tomorrow check this video again and uh, download the keys, to, I mean the um, short keys and use it. So what's going on here? Here also the some, something wrong. As you can see it's unconnected. Oh my god, I did it wrong. Sorry guys, it's my mistake because I'm, I'm talking and doing the work and 
you cannot do two things in one time. So ground floor, upper ground floor, the top, the lower. Oh, sorry, this is we are on the on the ground floor. Uh, yes, upper ground floor. So we did it. I it seems it's all everything okay. Let's create the uh, last one. Uh, last one video. Uh, video. <laughs> I mean, uh, last one. The floor uh, stream. It's already going the one hour. Uh, I'm sorry if it's so long, uh, but uh, what? 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 Actually, uh, when you start to create the building, you can spend one month. <laughs> but I re I spent just one hour for that one. So uh, let's go to the other floor. We're going to the view. We go to the plan view, floor plan, and we should uh, arrive the upper ground floor here. Just let's let's make it arrive. So we have we are here uh, under underlay and ground floor. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm speaking now terrible because I already a bit tired. Uh, uh, Dmitry, as I said, uh, I will create the floor after when I finish my walls because I want to just prepare all my walls all my exterior walls and interior walls why? because uh, I'm using the uh, picture I'm using the image for the drawing the walls this is not correct and I understand some way it can be um, some, some way I can get the bad numbers, bad dimension that's why now I'm doing the walls. After that, I will check all dimension, and only after that I will create the floor. Why I not creating the floor in same time? Because I don't wanna uh, like increase my work. Uh, if I will change the wall, I should change the floor. If I will change the floor, for example, I should change the shaft. So that's why now only walls. The other thing I will I will do when I will uh, already show about everything else. I think I hope you understand why. I, I I'm sorry if I bet to uh, how to say, uh, but to represent my my idea. Uh, so we are on this floor. Uh, what I did? Uh, ah, okay. This one here. This go around floor. That one here. Copy, paste, and paste on the which one? Which one? Upper ground floor, right, guys? Yes, upper ground floor. Let's go to the upper ground floor, and here we are. Here, this our our picture. Uh, oh, everything going bad and bad. <laughs> As you see, uh, now it's a bit uh, a bit moved our the um, our plan. So how we can prepare it? This wall, this wall, this window, this this side. Aha, uh -huh, this side. Okay, we can do it. Like a Superman. Okay. Yes, we did it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so what's going on here? I should check on the picture. So here we have only the um, that part. Only that part. Uh -huh. Let's check the, this 3D. So we don't have here walls. Okay, I think we will spend like a few minutes and we'll finish with that. So guys, in few minutes we will finish our stream. I mean like in 15 minutes or maybe in 20 minutes. If you have some question, just uh, be ready to ask me. Uh, and uh, I will try, maybe I will show you something. I don't know, let's say. Now I will use, uh, now I will copy this wall. Oh, why I'm copy this wall? Sorry, I'm already getting stupid. Uh, the wall and now is the our wall. This our 600 wall. No, it's not our the wall. Our wall is as one that it's 675. That is our wall. Uh, and again, I should change to the exterior. And now I will use the space bar to change the direction. And let's continue till here, till here, till here. Okay, thank you much. Okay, 
So if if you are okay with Corona, I will do in Corona. So, but in Corona, I can show show you some tricky ways actually, like uh, how you can, for example, create like multi material or prepare your uh, scratching or, or can make like uh, I don't know like uh, displacement materials, nice displacement materials because most of the people doing displacement is so shitty. So, but in VRA, yeah. I no one lie to you guys. You are my subscribers. You are trust me. That's why I no one lie to you. Okay, so we did it, and here. Actually, we will do some tricky way. I will connect on this line. I'm sorry, guys. Not I'm not lazy. It just we will follow that. Okay, and here, and here I will do the same thing. Let's do it till. That side. I will use TR. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And here I will also use TR. And other one, as you can see here, we have like um, two story. Oh yes, let's check it. Aha, uh -huh. here the two story the um, storefront. And here the storefront. So our wall is going inside, as you can see, like this. Uh, let's close it up. Our wall is going till here, till here. So, but here I will use the different wall. Here I will use the my uh, lovely uh, 60, 600 wall. That one. No, actually here not 600. So it's not my lovely wall. 300 so that one a bit hard to understand why I should put the walls I will use a line let's align it about the part Revit you know like a small project a house or build will the information generating the final we will uh, we will we'll will do that no worry uh, actually um, I will show you the project uh, one project what I will do uh, when we will finish this building so what we will get after you we, we will like finish just give me like um, 10 minutes and I will show you what we will get uh, on the final stage okay guys don't leave don't leave stream not it's not clickbait this just uh, <laughs> I I just wanna really show you what we what I'm trying to teach you. So here are the walls. Here are the, also the walls. Uh, guys, if you are, cannot follow me, I will I will share with you this uh, file so you will able to download it also. Uh, and uh, maybe I don't know you wanna just check something or you just want like follow me or you just I don't know anything any reason just give me a few minutes and i'll show you i will finish this interior walls and i will finish uh, with this uh, not stream i mean with this topic now so modify move move this one spacebar and ch change the position and as you see here we get the wrong side i will change it I want to change it to the middle so that one to the middle one like this and here I will also create the one more actually I will follow this line hello Arif sorry if I wrong I, I, I wrong said your name I'm sorry okay and now I will use TR to trim trim this wall to that one and now I will create one more wall here like this I will use again trim and we get it so uh, two more two more walls here the uh, the other one type also guys I don't want to make uh, now so many types of the wall because uh, if I did mistake something uh, later on it will be hard to change I think you understand 
So it's like this, like that. It's really important when uh, you are drawing the parallel lines. Why it's important? If I will use the I now dimension, now I can place it. But if it's not, will be parallel. Let's make it a bit like this. You not be able to create as you see. So this is really important for Revit. Everything should be, be parallel. So and here two more. Here is our shaft. We will create it now. So I should choose the other type of the wall. That one. Till here. And here the one more shaft. And one more here. Actually, I should change it to the other direction. Just spacebar. Just hit spacebar and done. And let's create the storefront and done for today. Storefront from that side to that side. Let's go to 3D. We get something like that. And everything is wrong because <laughs> because uh, what I didn't I, I didn't do that. I mean here on the upper ground floor because uh, all my levels now it's uh, like nine nine hundred only. So let's select all the walls. Select visible and change to the roof level and zero okay here the same sorry it was my mistake because i'm reading the comments and that's why uh yes it's concrete wall uh, i'm not care about the walls as i said uh, i will change it later uh, so this is the to the roof that one it will go the uh, modern roof it will go to the roof and top side, I think it's 1200. And let's select all of that. It's also to the roof, upper to the roof. Let's check what's going on on 3D. And let's go to the east view. We should change that one. dimension 360 yes we will live like that let's go back to 3d so we did it here is our walls for all the stores now uh, as i said i will show you what i want to uh, make uh, to, you know, when we will finish this project just sample of this project now first let's i will save it because I, I i really care about that you know the after desk make the shitty the thing with when you cannot save or it's crashed so let's go here the project and i will call like two project and let's call it like uh p -p 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 private residential house let's save it so and as i said now i will show you the project i will close that one let's show canvas okay just give me a few seconds oh yes 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 i will share with you the pictures no worries about that i know you is sometimes following the pictures then we get a match. Yes, 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 guys. No worries about that. Uh, let's go to 3D. Here we are. Here the my project. What I did before. As you can see, we can use here the topography. But here the plans. We will create the same plans. We will write everything. We will write the slopes. We will write the what what's going on here inside. Here the foundation plan, for example, right? You can see. For example, let's go to the main floor. We will do the same, all of that uh, same thing, we will do that, no worries. Actually, we will create some 
3D if you want. For example, where is my 3D? I will show you the one. Let's go to the list. Oh, here the my perspective. Uh, hold on. Hope it's not will crashed. So we will get the pictures like that one. I know it's not render. Uh, it's not uh, Revit. Not for render. Revit not about the realistic. Revit it's only about the beam and cat. Yes, beam and cat. So uh, we will create the project uh, kind of like this one. You will get uh, you you will get all the videos about that. You can follow me. Actually, uh, guys. Uh, you can get this project uh, for my patreon or from my store all the links i will leave before but uh, if you don't know where is it i will show you now you can get this project i already did like some small video sorry some small video in lumion uh how long uh, this project uh, takes um Depends of the project, you know, that project I spent around uh, four weeks, yes, around four weeks, but don't, don't, don't think like I'm working every day because I have my primer work and that one I am doing only the, in my free time. So you can imagine I'm tired coming the home, I'm just eating and after that I'm doing this project this way. So, uh... If you speaking, if we're talking about the uh, clear time, uh, this project I can make for one week. With this everything, just one week. If I will just work on like eight hours each day. Yes, of course, I not will be hard work. I just will uh, spend uh, time for fun and um, because architecture is for fun. So uh, I did this uh, thing in... Uh, Lumion, you can get it my Patreon. If you want, if you know one, you can just go and buy it here. If you know wanna buy, you we will create the our own. Just follow me, and we will create from that building the same thing like you see before. So the one question only, guys. Uh, you want uh, you want the streaming about this building or you want get just a video just um, i will upload the video or you got you want the streaming where you can ask something when you can uh, follow me i don't know uh, actually it's not fabulous it just <laughs> it just it just our work <laughs> what we are doing every day yes so guys question time just uh, I give you like uh, five or ten minutes for question time and I'm going to sleep because time it's already and tomorrow it's Monday my boss not will no, not will be happy if I, I will be so tired okay <clears throat> I will show you something else I don't know like let's say like uh, what you can get from my store let's say uh, you can get from some models for your side building <laughs> I, f I feel myself like you know I'm manager and I'm trying to sell something for you no guys you can uh, you can just watch <laughs> watch it <laughs> okay something like that uh, what I wanna show you else let's I'll show you something else just uh, now question time you can ask something if you uh, didn't get about that uh, if you have some Personal question, guys. You can write me on the my uh, on the my on the my uh, email, and I will try to answer you. Uh, wait, so sorry. Wait, I translate. Uh, about the stream, yes. Uh, stream. I think it will be on the Sunday and Saturday. But uh, it only depends to you guys. If you will say to me like you want to make it Monday, I'm okay with that. But uh, the time it's uh, uh, like like uh, not midnight, but near to midnight. If you're okay with that. Oh, have you used K-Shot for it? No, 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 no. I'm using the Lumion for the render. Thank you for okay uh I, about the stream so are you okay if i will uh make the streams uh, on the saturday and sunday in same time if you're okay just say yes i'm okay with that let's do like that i'm waiting your comments i'm 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 really so excited i'm waiting what what you will say <laughs> 
Oh, uh, what I have on my template. Sometimes you're asking like, uh, I need template, I need template. Actually, in my template, I have some, uh, some type of the wall, some components, what I'm using sometimes, you know. That's it. It's no, 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 nothing, nothing special, actually. Oh, I, I, you, Lumen crashing on your system because I think you don't have na uh, enough specs. Check my specs and I can, uh, I can tell you true, even on, on my PC, it's sometimes a bit slowly because Lumen, it's like, you know, game sims. It's really like a sims engine. <laughs> uh yes all my streams i'm living on the channel uh just uh, like uh when i'm st i'm finished my stream uh after s two or three hours it's already will be on the youtube and able to watch it so it's like this okay guys i think it's already enough for today i think it was great day for today so many people watched me and uh, i really so appreciate you thank you guys thank you so much uh, thank you so for supporting me just only one thing i will ask you for i, I will ask you uh, when i will post some video just try just leave some comment or i don't know share it because uh, sometimes I'm feeling like, why I'm doing that? <laughs> I, I, sometimes I'm uh, feeling myself so de depressed. Maybe because I'm working and I'm doing these videos. Anyway, thank you guys. And I think we'll see you in the stre next stream. It will be on Saturday. So don't miss up and see you soon. Bye bye.